guest. For information, call 1-800. Oh, John. I know you don't like me. Please, stop pretending. All my life people have told me I'm not special. It's finally sunk in. I get it. Fuck. I feel so alone. I wish I were still innocent. I envy the willpower of anorexics. I've always wanted to rob a bank. I take extreme measures to poop in solitude. My parents are related. I use the word When my friends go on diets, I discord them. This is because I just want them to be better than me. I love getting my period. It gives me an excuse to be bitchy and irritable and to take naps. Every time I get my toenails done, I want to kick a girl doing them in the face. I love to pee when I'm swimming. I'm afraid of women who wear pants. I give decaf to customers who are rude to me. I put lost socks to good use. I jack off into them. I had gay sex at church camp. Three times. I hope it occurs to my head. a man online, so he'll buy me stuff. I pulled a muscle in my neck while masturbating. I couldn't move my head for three days. I told my parents it was from moving furniture. I masturbate to pictures of Civil War soldiers. I think about women when I'm having sex with my boyfriend. Three years ago, my dad died. One year ago, I lost my virginity to a guy I dated for a month. If my dad were still alive, that wouldn't have happened. I broke up with my boyfriend who used to call me darling when we made love because I fell in love with a man who calls me a slut when he fucks me. I work in a job I hate because I know I won't pass a drug screen anywhere else. And I do drugs because I hate my job. I started shooting heroin again. When I was in fourth grade, a new kid moved into our neighborhood. He was a character who quickly became popular. Soon after, he convinced two of my friends to pin me to the ground and hold open my eyelids. They took turns spitting into my eyes. I want to be kidnapped, stripped naked, then bound and clear up to a signpost in the middle of downtown. And no one can set me free. I tell people I don't believe in God, when really, I just refuse to work it for God that would let my grandfather hurt me like he did. I stopped cutting myself but started plucking out my pubic hair with tweezers instead. I am 100% sure I'd be a rapist if I'd been born a man.
The night size sleep best I beam about being shot. My mom died when I was a kid and I convinced myself that she faked her death for some reason and that she'd come back someday. I still wonder when it will be safe for her to come out of hiding and find me. In a crowd of friends, family, or strangers, I always wonder which one of us will die first. <laughs>